Hi, this is James from OnlineITGuy.com, and I have five things that you need to do if you think your email's been hacked. Perhaps you've been logged into your email, and suddenly you were logged out, and you got a message saying you were logged in on another computer, and you weren't. Or maybe your friends are starting to get spam messages coming from your account, and you're not the one sending them, and you don't even see them. It's a good chance that those are signs that your email's been hacked, and somebody's got your password, and you need to get control of that email uh, account back. Now I have five things that you need to do to get control back and you want to do them fairly quickly. Don't do it over a couple hours. If you're the person that has a hard time coming up with passwords, come up with them beforehand. So you can do it all pretty quick because if you do it halfway, there's a chance they can get uh, control of your email account back. So we want to get them out and keep them out for good. So the first thing obviously is to change your password. Now for this password change, you don't need anything complicated, just something simple that you're going to remember and it's not going to be real easy for somebody who's been reading your email ad email for the past two weeks is going to guess. So just something real simple, simple and real quick. Um, and that just gets you control of your email account back. Now the next step is to check for any forwarding addresses. Now Google and um, Hotmail or Windows Live Mail allow you to set a forwarding address. Yahoo charges extra for that. but um, you still need to check and make sure that that forwarding address isn't, uh, isn't mentioned or is a con uh, account that you control because um, if there's a forwarding address, any email that comes to that account to your email address is just going right back out to somebody else again. And after you've checked that, the next step is to check those, those backup security questions, the ones that, you know, what city were you born in, what was your first car, and those kind of things. Change those answers and use answers for those questions that don't make sense. Don't you, you know, if it's, you know, what was the name of your mother, give a city, give a country, you know, what was the name of your car, you know, it was a dog, whatever. Just don't give common sense answers that somebody might be able to figure out, especially, again, if they've been reading your email for a few weeks. And after you change that forwarding address and you check those backup security questions, you want to check and see what the backup email address is. And that's that email address that you probably needed to sign up for the, the email account that you're looking at. I don't know why you need an email address to get an email address, but that's what it is. Make sure that that account that's listed there is also something under your control and that hasn't been hacked either. Because, again, we want to make sure that they can't get back control of your email account. And finally, after you've done that, you want to change your password one last time. And this password should be something good, something... It has um, both uh, letters, numbers, and punctuation in it. Um, an easy way to do that is a couple sentences from your favorite book. Um, use the first letter of each word, keep the capitalization on the right words, and throw in the punctuation and the page number. And you've got a pretty decent password that'll be easy for you to remember and very difficult for anything to break through. And so those are the five things that you need to do to get your email account back. Change your password, uh, check for any forwarding addresses, change the security questions, check for the backup email address, and finally change that password one last time. And that gets you control of your email account back. Now, those, that does one thing, but remember that any account that you use that email address to sign into, the, whoever had your email account before may now know the passwords to those accounts. So you need to go through all your banking and your credit card accounts and change those passwords also. And finally, there's also the question of how they got your password in the first place. It could be a sign that there's some malware installed on your computer. I suggest scanning your computer with anti-malware, uh, anti malware bytes, anti-malware, or super anti-spyware. Both great programs and also have a free option for you to test them out. Um, there's links on my webpage at onlineitguide.com. And have a great day. Please give me a thumbs up on, on YouTube if you like this video. And thanks a lot.